All right. What's up, everybody? Uh, you might be wondering why the heck I'm wearing these goggles. Well, today we're going to go through some um, uh, Noel reel handle options for your Noel reel using some uh, factory uh, Shimano and pan handles. So um, I got the goggles on because I'm going to show you guys how I ream them out. It's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. I never did make a video on it, but I had a few people ask me. So I figure, ah, might as well make a video. I can kind of go through some of the, the handles that I've used, some of the ones that I like, some of the ones that, um, that they sell, and um, go through all that and discuss the different options for Noel Reel handles. So, so I'm making this video because I'm going to do a couple of handles for myself. So right here what we have are some Shimano... These are the HG. I think these are like the 30 HG handles. They're kind of neat looking. They're very lightweight, super lightweight. Nice big round rubberized knob on them, very durable. A uh, little bit of an offset, nice design. You know, they don't pit like chrome handles, but uh, real nice. So I'm gonna be making a couple of these. Okay. Um, so here's one example of a handle I have on my personal reel. This is a Trinidad A. This is a, a 30 Trinidad A um, Shimano. Um, I really like this one for how it feels and how it looks. It's got the nice white knob with the black. It really makes the reel look real. It just matches the reel really well. Um, it's a little heavier than the, these handles, but it, it feels great very durable um, I've, I must have had this handle on my reel for about four or five years now and it's it's a little you know a little yellowed from the sun and grime and use but overall you know good shape and I just put some soap and water when I'm done fishing and it's really handled minimal corrosion as you can see very nice handle so that's what I got on my reels this is what I run I've also had some other handles that I run. So, um, some of the handles that uh, we're going to be working with today is going to be these ones. I'm going to I'm going to ream these out, and I'm going to show you what I need, what I what I do with them. Um, before we start this, I'm going to just talk about some handles that uh, you can run on these reels. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, so a couple of the different handles that you can run on these reels are obviously the, the Shimano Torium HG, the Trinidad A handles, the Torium handles you can run, the Takoda handles you can run. That's another nice size one. Um, uh, that's for the Shimanos. And I really like the Shimanos. They have a really good grip. Um, the handle designs are nice. A lot of them are lightweight. Some of the other handles that handle options that are out there are uh, um, the pan handles so pan makes a couple of different handles um, I'm gonna be you know uh, in this in this video I'll be posting the um, the photos of what the handle looks like but they make a good black uh, sort of like an all black handle and they make a really good um, a gold handle and they make a, a black and gold and the pan handles are very, very, very lightweight. I think they're lighter than the Shimano's. I didn't weigh them, but I know for sure they're lighter than the Shimano's. But same thing, nice big, big knob. I noticed the pen, I noticed the pen handles are a little bit more like hard, a little bit harder, like more of a plastic. And the Shimano's have more of that rubber feel. So I prefer the Shimano's. But they're both similar size. They're both light. They're both oversized. Um, great for cranking, especially if your hands are wet or slimy, like you're cutting up your bait and you got to get a crank on your reel or whatever. So very good options. The nice thing about the pens is that they're cheap. You can get, um, you can get the pen handles for about like $20, $20, maybe 25 bucks online. Real cheap. A few dollars, you know, maybe four or five, six dollars to ship. So you're looking at a handle, you know, 30 bucks 
So that's the good, that's the real nice thing about the pan handles. The um, Shimano's are a little bit more expensive. The Trinidad A handles are a little bit more expensive. You're looking at like maybe 60 bucks. Um, the other Shimano's, you know, you're looking at maybe like 40 or so, 35, 40, but still cheaper than some of the other handle options out there. I do like the uh, Noel stock handle, but it's a little small and the paddle on the handle itself is small, it's plastic, it's slippery. Sometimes when you gotta come back up to grab the reel to fight crank, it's hard to find it. So I, I kind of, I've stopped using the stock handles a long time ago just for those things. I do like them, but it's just, um, I tend to gravitate towards the Shimano ones better. Um, there's some other pan handles you can use, some chrome ones and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, there's other reels, like even some of the Okumas, um, some of the Daiwas, you know, but I found that the cheapest being the pens um, for your money, best bang for your buck, and a slightly more expensive handle with a lot better quality is the Shimano's. Um, the Dakotas, I mean, the Dakota, the Torium HG, the Trinidad A, uh, Torium, all of those handles are really great. Um, and it's, to me, I've, I've owned a lot of handles. I've owned the stock, I've owned aftermarket, I've owned Tiburon, I've owned uh, custom handles, I've owned those stupid ball ones that you see. And I'll be honest, man, the best ones for feel, grip, weight is these Shimano's, they're, they're just the best. Um, if you're going for looks, because maybe you got a purple frame with purple side plates and you want a purple handle, so you're gonna go out and get a custom one or go get a Tiburon one, that's great, that's fine. You know, that's your reel. But um, these are my workhorse reels. These are the ones I fish with every weekend when I go ulu fishing. I'm not so concerned with looks. It's more just performance, how the thing feels, how it works, how it operates. Um, and durability. So that's why I choose these. So we're gonna go into actually um, doing all three of these handles I got here. Make sure you got goggles because once you start getting into this hole, you're gonna get little metal shards kind of flying around going all over the place. So you wanna at least have some eye protection. So what you're gonna need is, you're either gonna need your reel so you can you can test fit it after you cut it open. Or what I do is I just carry a, uh, a small gear sleeve with me uh, when I'm doing this. So I'll just put that on the side. So as I'm cutting, I'm gonna take my gear sleeve, test fit, put it down, cut, test fit, put it down, cut, until I get it nice and tight. It's, it's always important to just kinda, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with doing this, just go a little slow because you can always, you can always go and do more, but once you cut too much, that's it, it's, you've done, you know what I mean? So it's best to just go slow, go slow, make multiple tests, fits, to make sure you get a nice, uh, nice snug fit on this thing. So you can see the size difference. Let me see here. You can see the size difference um, here. So the Newell, uh, gear sleeve is a little wider and a little taller and that's all we're gonna do is we're just gonna widen one side you know and then make it a little tall. I got a Dremel it's a regular old Dremel I've got this uh, it's kind of like a cutting bit it's not a regular drill bit you know this is a regular drill bit you can see how the the grooves in the bit are a little spaced out versus this one they're tighter so I use these I find cut better and then once I'm done doing the cut I like to just kind of smooth it out with some kind of a grinding bit just to kind of clean it up so there's no sharp edges all right so let's get started so first thing you got to do put your eyewear on plug this boy in make sure you got this connected you want to clamp down your handle so that way when you're working on this thing it doesn't shift because you're going to be working it I also found that the longer the bit the better and the reason why is when you're working on this thing, if your bit is short, then you tend to be cutting at the edge or the tip. 
and so if you you know occasionally if that tip comes out you're gonna end up slicing your handle you're gonna end up leaving a, a scratch mark so if you got a longer bit you can stay in deeper and you don't have to worry about scratching the face of your handle okay so let's go so make sure you start it inside that's another tip you don't want to turn it on and then put it inside because if you you're off a little if it slips same thing you're gonna go and you're gonna scratch the face of your handle so put it in first then turn it on okay Okay, so as you're working this thing, you're going to start to see the material open up, open up, open up. You want to make sure you're staying even with your lines, you know, so, you know, you don't want to stay, you don't want to stay in one particular spot for a long time. You want to hit one spot and then go to the other spot, run it over, hit this corner, then hit this corner, go back over, hit this corner, hit this corner, go back over, you know, so don't stay in one particular spot because what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up reaming out one spot bigger and then it's gonna be all funky so it's probably still too shallow but let's just test fit it for the sake of test fitting okay so the other tip is is when you start to if you have a dremel that has adjustable speeds don't start off at the high speed because when you when you go on this thing it's just gonna be bouncing all over okay so start off at the lower rpms okay so remember Put it in first and then turn it on. And the same thing, when you turn it off, turn it off in the hole. Don't pull it out and turn it off because it's the same thing. If that drill bit is on, you could very easily cross over the handle and scratch it. And then you got this brand new handle with scratches all over it. So anytime you bring this drill, this, this bit in or out, it should always be off before you put it in or out, okay? So let's do another test fit. Okay, so we're almost there. And look how fast that is. I'm talking and it's only taking about a minute. Hmm? Remember, go slow and do multiple test fits because you don't want this thing really loose. So you want it tight. Um, another thing is, is when you're dremeling in this, brace the dremel up against maybe your stomach or your side, and it gives you an easier time to control the dremel as opposed to if you're just using your arms, you know. So brace that dremel up against your side like this, and you get tighter control. You can control it better. So let's give it a test fit again. Okay, so that's good. I just got to make this a little wider. The length is good. I just need a little bit more width right there. Stick it in, then you turn it on. Okay, give it a test fit. Voila. Okay, so um, what you want to do is on these gear sleeves, there's a notch right there. Okay. You're going to see a notch right here. So you, that handle, that hole on that handle shouldn't be bigger than this notch. So when you stick this gear sleeve in, it should stop on that notch. Okay. Just like that. You don't want it going past. And we're just going to kind of clean it up, even though this is pretty smooth, we're just going to clean it up a little. Okay. And you can see what I'm talking about. Look at all those metal, metal pieces. So it really does make a mess. There's our hole. 
Okay, looks pretty symmetrical. I'm gonna test fit it. You can see how it fits pretty good. There's a little bit of play, and that's fine because uh, when you when you tighten down your your handle nut and washers and everything, it's gonna secure the the uh, the handle to the gear sleeve. So. There you go. All three done. Okay. Um, one thing. One thing I would add is that um, when you do cut these handles, um, you're going to be exposing, especially if they're painted or they've been plated in chrome or something like that. You're going to be exposing um, like the the edge of the metal. So it's very important um, for corrosion protection and keeping the metal from seizing and stuff. It's very important that the inside, this inside that you cut, slather it with a nice thick grease. So put a nice big thick grease inside, on the bottom, and on the top. And uh, you shouldn't have to worry about anything. Just make sure you grease it. Um, if you wanna go one step further, and this is totally unnecessary, uh, if you have a painted handle, like a black Shimano Trinidad handle, or one of the pen black handles that, um, I shown in this video prior um, prior to this part is that you could even go with some uh, you know a little bit of a enamel or something on a brush and just paint the inside edge of the uh, the area with the metal that you um, kind of shave down so you could even go as far as that but you still even if you paint the inside you still got to put grease and you you would do that either way regardless even if you ran your stock Noel handle you still would be putting grease on it because You've got two different metals, brass and aluminum, brass, stainless, bla brass, whatever, um, contacting each other with salt water. And it just makes for a, a you know, a condition, conditions perfect for electrolysis to take place where the two metals will just seize up and you'll get corrosion. So as long as you got grease there, it's perfect. So um, that's it. That gives you an idea of some of the handle options out there. Like I said, I do like these. I like how they feel. I like how they work, how they function. The price is great. The, um, what's nice is if you're on a budget, you can get something similar and you can just get the pen handles. The pen handles are a fraction of the price. They're like 20 bucks. Uh, you just pay for shipping and um, they feel great. They're large, oversized. They look great on the reel. So those are all some options for your Newell reels. And this will work on any Newell from a two all the way up to a 600, it doesn't matter. Um, the gear sleeves are all the same size. The only difference in the gear sleeves are the length, but the width is all the same size. Um, so that's it. I have um, the photos posted of the handles, um, some of the other various handles on reels. Hopefully I'll go find those photos that I had before and I can post those up. So do me a favor, if you like this video, if you thought it was useful, if um, you think it could apply to maybe your fishing situation or you thought it was maybe um, interesting you might have learned something uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button make sure you're subscribed to my channel i'm going to try and produce content uh, every week or several times several times a month 
um, which will either be fishing, showing us fishing, catching, uh, not catching, who knows, um, maybe some tackle tips, some helpful things. I've been fishing, okay, for, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you later.